Hey everyone, I'm Regina and today I'll be sharing some fall staples that Japanese women have in their closets for 2024. Um, personally, I do believe that staples do change over time a little bit, so take everything that I say today with a little grain of salt. Um, but I think most of the things that I'll be showing you guys today are things that the average woman would have in their closet and also things that can easily be styled to suit someone's personal style. This list will be quite short compared to the other list because a lot of things from spring and summer of course are going to carry over into fall because they are staples. So things like denim and slacks, trench coats, and kireime dresses. I think the big difference between spring and summer and autumn and winter as well of course is the color palette. A lot of our clothes tend to get a lot darker as we enter into the cooler months. So our first staple is blazers, the kind of blazer you want to pick up. Um, I feel like it does depend on the current time period that you're living in. So right now I would say that slightly oversized blazers seem to be the staple basic blazer that most people go for. So the most common outfit formulas that I usually see um, involving blazers include blazers, wide leg jeans, and a simple top with ankle boots or pumps, um, blazers, mini skirts, and simple knee high boots, or blazers and maxi dresses with ankle boots or pumps. I would say that formulas one and three are pretty universal, while formula two tends to be worn by teenagers and people in their early 20s, I would say, um, especially if the mini skirts are pleated. Our next staple is knit vests. A simple neutral colored vest goes along with anything, but I do think that most people steer away from cable knit patterns. Um, I feel like cable knit patterns and um, what is it, like striped border styles can look a little bit too academic or a little bit too school uniformy. Like it's very easy to slip into the school uniform um, box <laughs> when it comes to those kinds of vests. So I usually stay away from them personally. And I think that's why the simple styles tend to be a little bit more popular across all ages. Also, I feel like more people are choosing vests that can be worn on their own as their own single piece versus as a layering piece. Right now, Uniqlo has a vest that is quite popular. The edges of the vests are slightly curved and I feel like that makes the vest look a little bit more relaxed and casual and it's just really easy to wear. Our next staple is turtleneck or high neck knits. So there isn't really much for me to say about turtlenecks because they're basically just turtlenecks. Um, but I guess I do notice that some people really like to layer um, like compact turtlenecks underneath other things like sweaters um, and things like that in order to add like a contrast layer or a contrast color to their outfits. In that case, I do think that the turtlenecks that you choose for layering should be a little bit thinner just so that you don't overheat. Another staple is compact cardigans and knits. Again, the compactness of these knits and cardigans um, allow them to be layered with more pieces so you have more like outfit options in your closet. And they're also perfect for those like mixed temperature days where it's like kind of hot one minute but like cold next. So they're easy to like carry around, take off, put on, whatever you need. This year I would say that the um, compact knit button down cardigans from Uniqlo seem to be quite popular. And if you want to make your outfit a little bit more interesting, you can easily just keep the top buttons buttoned up while the bottom buttons are unbuttoned so that it kind of makes a triangle shape to give your overall outfit a little bit more um, of an interesting shape. And of course, a classic cardigan with a round collar neck is popular too. Um, I would say that if you want to kind of stand out in a crowd with that kind of classic cardigan cut, I would go for an interesting color combination like red and dark gray. So like a red cardigan with dark gray bottoms like slacks. I feel like that will help you stand out in the crowd while still wearing classic pieces. For shoes, of course, black boots are a staple along with loafers. For boots, many people still wear ankle boots because it's just practical, especially if you end up going to a restaurant or an izakaya where you have to take off your shoes. So ankle boots are really easy to slip on and slip off. For longer boots, I would say simple styles with maybe a low heel are popular, whereas um, maybe boots like rider boots or like combat like boots are popular among younger women and girls. Now with overs, I do find that you can easily fall into the school uniform trap if you're not careful with the kind that you choose. 
Personally, I feel like something with a slight platform or an interesting detail kind of helps um, divorce <laughs> the loafer from the school uniform image. Also, I noticed that, um, at least on myself, when I wear normal or like slim basic loafers, um, I feel like they look a little bit off in outfits where I'm wearing shorts or a mini skirt. So if you have a small platform or some small bit of chunkiness in the loafer, you'll be able to wear them like with long skirts, with jeans, slacks, as well as with mini skirts and shorts. So there's a little bit more versatility when there's a little bit of chunkiness to the loafers, at least in my opinion. Especially with mini skirts and shorts, I feel like the chunkiness kind of balances out the visual weight of the entire outfit, if that makes sense. But that's basically all for me today. Overall, I do think that fall outfits tend to look either polished or comfy, possibly both, and slightly, and I mean very slightly academic without entering school uniform territory. Let me know what you consider to be a fall staple and hit the like button while you're at it. The next video should be my fall and winter trends video. Um, this year I'm combining fall trends with winter trends because I feel like there aren't really that many trends for this year. Um, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Bye!